All righty then. Well, the Doberman here. Hello. I need to hire a cameraman. All right, what we're looking at today is... <laughs> why this guy Mandy keeps showing up on all these boxes, we'll never know. But sometimes it's Manny Green. Today it's Manny Blue. Anyway, I've had many a blue day opening packages over the years. <clears throat> when we'll get into that in greater depth. But this one here is from B&H Photo. What is it? It's a hard drive. Are hard drives properly packaged? No. We've tried ordering from uh, Old Yoke, otherwise known as New Blank. We've tried ordering from uh, Azamon, and the last drive that we ordered from Amazon, uh, excuse me, Azamon, uh, came in a little tiny box. It was, in fact, a two and a half inch drive. So it was a small notebook size drive, smaller than the one you're about to see here. And it came with a little bubble wrap. I've got uh, this, the video of this and some stills as well. So you can see it with your very own eyeballs. Ridiculous. And then sent through the US mail. This came by UPS. Anyway, we've already shaken it. And it's, uh, well, I don't want to do too much of that, but you can hear that it's thumping around in there more so than it would have to. But the big question mark today is, is B&H Photo going to trump the rest of them in their packaging? So, here we go. By the way, is this in frame? Yes. We have frame continuity. Oh boy. <laughs> and that's why it's thumping around in there. This is what we call human foibility, and there's a reason that we call it human foibility, and it's a whole weekend seminar. It has to do with the fact that our collective consciousness is basically sick. The switchboard is miswired. Somehow we got into that condition, and then being in that condition, we're unable to disconnect it because, of course, we're in it. We're using a faulty system to try to correct the system. So I really shouldn't have been shaking it. Isn't this kind of insane? Now this probably is the manufacturer's box, but maybe not. It's a box in a box. What would be so hard to put some of this in here, put this on top, even if there wasn't anything on the sides, it couldn't rattle around, and then put some more on top and use a slightly bigger box. Probably cost them 0.75 cents. Uh, oh, and it's flopping around inside the box. It's just unbelievable. So, I think what we need to do is upload this little impromptu video to YouTube. Of course, they do want us to buy all of these things from them, which they can then package incompetently. Well, <clears throat> let's look in the box. See, by the way, since the need for this hard drive is on a deadline project. This, this is just totally insane and unacceptable. Point made? What do you think? If this part here, which has no padding, happens to be either on the bottom or on the side, there is absolutely no protection from shock. We have hard surface to hard surface, use your imagination, gets dropped, 
and the shock gets transmitted directly up through that box, up into this box, and directly into the item itself. And you know the laughing part about it all. It's, it's a joke. It's a sad joke to quote Dr. David Hawkins, but it's a joke. This is totally and utterly preventable. Hope we got a video here, folks. Velvet Doberman, out.